Hey guys, Ponzu Sauce here. Welcome back for another texture pack tour. This time we're taking a look at the Legend of Zelda pack by Crazy Poker Blackout. This is a 16-bit pack and it's supposed to be 100% complete. So let's take a look at it. All right, so it's definitely reminding me of Zelda. This looks like a pretty fun pack. Uh, Definitely everything that I see in, in range is um, updated, except for maybe the items. The items might not be changed, but it looks like everything that you want to build with is probably different. We have uh, different wheat going on. Looks like we have some... Oh, okay, so some, some items may be changed. <laughs> looks like we have... Uh, the stems for the growth of melons and pumpkin, although that very first stage doesn't seem to have anything coming out, and I'm not sure if that's intended or not. We have our nether wart, and we have our cocoa beans. We have our, our leaves going on. Got some pretty interesting stuff going on here. Saw a creeper over there, but we'll see more more with a creeper down in the basement. All right, so everything has been touched. Looks like everything. All right, do we have? We don't have any changes to the uh, UI for the Ender Chest. We definitely have completely different um, armor sets. The uh, the helmets are mostly the biggest change. different enchanting table some some of the items in the frames are different but some are not different UI nope same UI got all the brewing ingredients Is that a mushroom that's a massive mushroom if the, if it is a mushroom that's crazy see if there's any different tools looks like uh Maybe just a reskin on the diamond stuff for the main tools. Got uh, different buckets going on. Got the stick. I like the stick with the, some, uh, some green stuff sticking out of it. Got completely different swords, as would be expected. We've got maybe just one horse armor that's different. One horse armor is different. Alright. We did check on that. These are different, that's for sure. So that's kind of cool. Looks like we definitely have some different food going on. And uh, saplings. There's a lot of things that have not been overlooked here. Everything seems fairly complete. Got the uh, trap doors going on. Got a different bed. Alright, so um, no UI changes it seems, but we do have the difference between the trapped and untrapped chest. Although, it's a little bit odd that I would have expected the untrapped chest to be the blue one and the trapped chest to be to be red. But that's that's all good, it still works. So again, we, we do have just, may, maybe just the, um, the diamond tools are changed. What were these? I don't even remember what these were. Those are definitely changed, that's for sure. Got different, oh, there's going to be completely different mobs in this one, that's for sure. Alright, let's see what we can find in the biome rooms. We got, oh, what the? What did you do to the villagers? <laughs> the villagers are teeny tiny. <laughs> All right. So that was somewhat ex unexpected. Although it does seem like maybe there's a little bit missing on the edges of the uh, of the uh, texture there at the top. I think we have default torches. This is all the acacia wood. 
Oh, do we have a different fire? We have a different animation coming off of the fire. I'm not sure if it's a different fire, though. Got some different hay, different iron bars. Hello, Mr. Sheep. Alright, so this is one of the more subtle textures that I've seen on sheep, which is actually kind of refreshing. <laughs> this is a completely different cow. <laughs> Looks like uh, maybe a missed opportunity for uh, retexturing the paintings. That would have been pretty awesome. Well, pretty much everything else seems to be fairly done. Except for maybe the updated stuff. I'm not sure if the, um, the granite and stuff like that is complete. So this is all the dark oak in here. Let's see if there's any paintings. I don't think we have any change painting. Got completely different foliage everywhere. So this is all the dark oak wood that you would expect to be building with if you use this pack. Got a pretty cool, uh, pretty cool windows going on. Head on to the next room. We have the birch forest. I like the tree. The tree texture is awesome. It's great. Just a slight change with the sunflower. Um, hmm. Looks like maybe we found something that wasn't complete. Maybe the pumpkins haven't been retextured. So this is all the birch wood in here. That's a crafting table. The ender chest. Let's go into the jungle. I like the vines. The vines are really cool. That really works. We've got the cocoa beans again. This is all the uh, the jungle wood. Got the mossy stone and mossy cobble. Again, all the jungle wood. Got the melon. We have the taiga up next. Let's see if there's any... Do we have different dogs? Yes! We have different... Oh my goodness. Where are their feet? Where are their legs? <laughs> Alright, so this is all the spruce wood, spruce leaves. We've got the mushrooms in here, the two different kinds of mushrooms, saplings, flowers. We've got ferns. A pretty uh, fun pack. This seems like a really fun pack. Go into the regular forest. Yeah, I don't I don't think that there's any change to the fire. If there is, it's super subtle and I'm not seeing it. Um so here's our water. First look at the water. It has a slight animation to it. It's pretty cool. We have the uh clay here and this is the sand. We have different chickens. I think they're just slightly different. Not not too crazy different. They're kind of uh, smoothed out a little bit. We have the ladder, of course. Do we have different fish? Uh, maybe not. No, it doesn't look like it. Alright, let's head to the next room. We have the swamp lands. So... Looks like uh, the slimes are definitely retextured. Can I see through them? Okay, so you, they aren't they aren't translucent anymore in this pack. So this is all um, spruce wood in its form. Everything that you would expect from spruce wood. Got a completely different cauldron, and of course, I'm not sure if it's intended that there's a missing piece right there on the potted plant. It's hard to tell. The spruce wood looks pretty interesting. It's nice and purpley. Oh my goodness, look at the slime. That's the slime ball. <laughs> Go 
going to the desert. Oh, that's what it was. I was wondering what that was at the front, and I forgot that it was a dead bush. So that's completely different. And these are the cactus. These are the cactus. And of course, the uh, sugar cane. This is all our sandstone in here. Pretty interesting, uh, completely different texture from side to bottom. Let's uh, head on upstairs. We have our second uh, floor. A whole nother floor of biome rooms to check out. This is our quartz in here, or I mean the uh, the nether type stuff. This is the quartz here, nether rack. This is all the glowstone. The lava looks pretty cool. It's quite dark. Gravel, soul sand. Got a different anvil going on. A different fire charge right there in the item frame. We have to, oh yes, that's right. We do have different iron bars, kind of purpley. And the nether ward. Alright, so we have the cave system up next, and it looks like maybe the lapis isn't changed, and the redstone maybe. It looks like all the other blocks are done. Oh, look at this. We have some custom rail going on. Looks like the carts are the same though. Got some redstone uh, torches going on. Looks like uh, a fairly complete complete everything except for maybe the the latest uh, added blocks the granite andesite and um, diorite let's head on up the rail see what else we have here oh <laughs> here we have the uh, the bomb this is the TNT retextured I like the I like the webbing it looks super sticky though. Look at how sticky that looks. Makes it look like completely different. We have some of the different uh, items here except for maybe the lapis, the iron, and gold. What do we have next? We have the mesa. Dip into the mesa. See what we have in here. Um. Not sure. I don't think there is much of a difference with the stained clay. I can't quite tell. It might be very subtle or it might not be touched at all. But we definitely have some uh, some different sandstone here. The blending looks um, super crazy. Like you can't really blend these blocks together that well. Um, but I like I like each one individually. We've got the red sand, of course. We've got the end next. So we've got some brick in here as the, the end stone. Here is our obsidian. Looks pretty cool. This is a, a nice room. It feels like it it's kind of suitable. Everything kind of works together. Oh my goodness. Look at that. We have some completely different mushrooms and those mushrooms on top of them are huge. Look at them. They're like the same size. They're like over half half the size of the the mushroom as a whole. That's crazy. Um, do we have a different red mushroom? I'm not sure. The bottom, the underneath of the uh, the brown mushroom is a little bit different, but I'm not sure if the side texture is different. This is gravel, I believe. Got a little bit of a different color to the mycelium. Got the ocean temple next, so we can see the uh, the falling water. That's what you would expect. We've got the sponge, the wet sponge on the other side of the glass there, and here's the dry sponge. 
Looks like maybe the prismarine stuff is uh something that might be gotten to eventually. Uh, or actually, no, it's slightly done. It looks like it's definitely a little bit touched. Um, we have the gold blocks here. Yeah, some of the prismarine stuff is changed. Let's see what we have in the ice plains. Ooh, I'm liking what I'm seeing from the outside. Oh, this looks cool. All right, so this is this is what I like to see the difference between the regular ice and and the packed ice, you know? You really want to be able to tell the difference. It's not like it has a similar texture on it, but it's completely different tone, completely completely different transparency. I like to be able to see through the ice a little bit, you know. I I think this ice is done fairly well. So we have the packed snow on the side here as well. And it blends all together well. You can see it, it overlaps right. It matches up. <laughs> Alright, so this is probably one of the cooler parts. Dip into the flower forest and we have practically everything done. Maybe everything, yeah, completely, completely done. I don't see anything that's default in here. That's pretty cool. Some nice bright flowers. Although this this looks a, a little bit more bright than most of them. Rose bush or whatever. I think that might be the rose bush one. The stem is like crazy bright compared to most of the others. So let's head on down to the dungeon, see what kind of uh, different mobs we have. Oh my goodness, I thought for a second that was something naked. It's pretty close though, <laughs> look at it. <laughs> we have a completely different Enderman. Oh, and we have a different Iron Golem. And of course we've seen all the villagers. You can't really distinguish between them though. If you wanted to know the difference between each one, you'd have to open up their inventories. So we know that there might have been, yeah, I think there was a slight change with the chicken. It has kind of like a nose thing going on there. We've got completely different cows. Completely different pig. I'm not quite sure if these guys are supposed to have more to them or not. These are the dogs. Let's see what the what kind of mobs we have going on. Oh, <laughs> nice. Oh my goodness, are these guys supposed to be missing a head? I'm not quite sure. So we have the the regular zombies and these are the zombie villagers. Baby zombie, baby zombie villager. Looks like we have no changes to the witch, but we definitely have a different uh, skeleton. Um, I'm not sure if this is super different? It might be just slightly different. I know this one is definitely different. Got a completely different creeper. The lightning effect is uh, unchanged it seems. <laughs> Alright, so let's see what we have with the horses. Looks like uh, default horses. Oh my goodness. This looks like something that may need a little fixing. I'm not sure if it's intended like that. So that's the magna magma block. Actually, it, there's probably some sort of effect that's intended like this one. This one turned out fairly well, but I'm not sure if this is exactly how this one is intended. We have different mobs going on. The bat looks like maybe default. The Andermite is default. Got a slightly different blaze. And of course the wither skeleton and the zombie pigman. <laughs> Looks like a wrestler. We have the same water mobs. Yes, it, it appears so. 
see what else we have different here. Any of the fuzzy things different? Uh, nope. I'm pretty sure none of the horses are changed, but we do have different sheep. Let's see if the wool matches up. It, it kind of does. It's close. Some of the wool is a little bit brighter than the actual sheep, so... We do try to look at whether or not the tone kind of matches up. Yeah, they're like this one, maybe a little bit more pinky than, uh, you know, magenta -y. This one's super bright orange. Alright, let's head on up to the very top floor. We have some redstones. Ooh, okay. So we took a quick peek at the uh, other stuff there, but let's get through this stuff first. We got the redstone. Got the uh, redstone dust. Looks like everything has been changed, that's for sure. Everything has been retextured. <laughs> some pretty cool looking stuff here. Got the trap door. Pretty cool. All right, we have some different iron bars. Oh, this one. Uh, we have the same wither mob, although the spell effect is a little bit different. Let's see if we have a. D oh, we definitely have a different guest. So that's pretty cool. Completely different. It has some animations on. All sides except for the top and right side. We've got a different portal for the nether. And a different spell effect, of course. Let's see what we have going on down here. Alright, definitely some different blocks here. And we have a different uh, ender dragon egg. Is it going to be a different ender dragon? I don't even know. Let's see. Ender Goyorg? Goyorg? I don't know how to say that. I'm sorry for butchering it. <laughs> Look at that. Completely different. That's pretty cool. Wow. So there you have it, everybody. That is the uh, Legend of Zelda pack by Crazy Poker Blackout. And uh, if you want to download this pack, the link to that download is in the description of the video make sure you hit that subscribe button uh, so that you can be updated when I upload uh, future videos they're being uploaded frequently and of course uh, leave me some sort of comment tell me what you thought about this pack uh, what you liked about it what you disliked about it and we'll see you next time